Okay, this is a Dell Latitude D620 or D630 or D820 um, BIOS battery replacement. It's good for all those models. Okay, the first thing we got to do is take the battery out. Here's the primary battery. You want to remove these two that move these two levers outwards away from each other. And then slightly pull the battery towards you and lift. All right, and then I got another battery in here. It's the secondary battery. It gives about two hours more of life when you're out and about. So here, here it goes where the CD-ROM's at. I'll leave a link on the on the uh, description. Here's the battery here. It's in place of the CD-ROM. I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick it up on eBay. <clears throat> okay, all we're going to do here is remove the uh, keyboard. Real easy. I'm trying to go quick here for time. All right. Uh, we're going to remove this back bezel off the back of the keyboard. Just get a flat edge screwdriver, a little tiny one. You're going to come over here in the corner. And there's a little notch here. I don't know if you can see it on camera. You can get this. You're going to put the screwdriver right in that notch and lift. And make sure to make sure you make sure your monitor's laying displays laying flat. Because these, these hinges are going to come up with it. Hinge covers. And just finesse it off real slow. Keep lifting it. Start over on the right. And then over here it's got some notches. You pull it towards it a little bit. See these got these notches on the end of the bezel here. Okay, we got that off. Okay, there's three screws on the keyboard. But I lost mine. I'm running kind of ghetto over here. So there's one. one's going to be right here. One's right here in the middle between these two buttons. And then the other one's right here with a silver piece sticking out. So I only have the middle one. So let's grab that one out of there. Sounds like it's ready. Okay, be real careful. I got it. Be real careful with your screws. I'm losing mine all the time. Okay, now on the keyboard, you're gonna lift the back first, and then you're gonna move the keyboard towards the display. Okay, you just finesse it up real slow. Sometimes it sticks over here in this corner when you're first taking it out. So just be careful you don't break nothing. Okay, lift the back part. Now I pull the keyboard towards, and it's gonna release these notches here. Pull the keyboard a little bit, a little bit. Now just bend it, bend it back. And, and be careful with this ribbon here that's attached to the motherboard, and the keyboard. Don't play with that. Just leave it alone. Okay, now here's our BIOS battery right here underneath this black cover. Here's the, here's the cord to it, the black and red cord. We're going to pull that out of there. I take a screwdriver, stick it underneath the wires, and, it and put your thumb right over the square part that's plugged in. little white square part right there. And just pull. And that released it. And then, and then to, to take the battery out, you got to lift this black plastic. To put underneath that, I put my thumb here. Try to do it with one hand. And then just pull the battery out. It, it, it'll come out of there. But for the video, I think I'm going to leave mine in. Let's see what happens here. Try to do this with one hand. Let me stop the video for a second. Okay, here's the battery. I got it out with two hands. It's hard with it. I'm filming with it here with one camera and one hand. Okay, now go back in with it. We're going to go back in with a new battery. Just pretend this is a new battery. This is, this is my same battery. Just lift up the black. Lift up the black with that thumb there. <clears throat> you just want to finesse it over there. Lift that black part up. There it is, right there. I got it. And then, and then you, we're gonna go into that, into that white box right there with the cord. That's where we're plugging it in. Let me stop the video one more time. Okay, that's it. And I, I put it in that white little box there. So there's where the cord goes in. 
to the mic to the motherboard and just kind of finesse this just kind of tuck that the wires down in there right there in that little gap and that's it and then we and then we're gonna come out and you're gonna put the bottom of the keyboard in first just slide it towards you make sure that it's all notched in along there and lay it flat and then I remember I only have the one screw <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna do this with, I'm gonna try and do this with my other hand. Let me stop real quick. Okay, I ran the one screw in the middle. I ran that back in. Right here. It's back in. And then now grab the bezel. We're gonna start, and you're gonna put the other screws in too. But one screw's gonna go here. And another screw's gonna go here, but I don't even have them. Okay, now you're gonna put the, we're gonna put the bezel back on the back. Start around the left side. You want these two notches to go underneath that black part there. And then just lay it flat. <clears throat> and finesse it across there. You'll feel it locking in. Uh, that was it. That's it. We're done.